What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, um, two quite major things happened. Um, firstly we began our operations against um, the, Marathican, the, uh, the Mughal Empire on the Indian continent and we also secured Moscow. That's where we would capture the heart of the Russian Empire. Um, but it has highlighted somewhat of a problem because the Moscow region is so massive it's shown us all of the armies that are currently running about. So these armies I suspect are going to consolidate and then come and try to take Moscow back, which is fine as long as I get some time to um, resupply my troops and reorganize and get everyone back together again. This army which was previously going to attack Ukraine um, has been diverted to support Moscow if needed and that could well be the case. Then we also have some troops over here that might be coming over to hit Archangel but I'm hoping it would take them more than a turn to get there and then this relief force should be more than an adequate garrison to to push them back because their artillery choices are non-existent so it'd be simple escalades for them and we also have this force here at Komi who are going to continue rampaging around and capturing some of these Russian rear areas hopefully going for um, Bashkiria and then heading west to Tataria so knock out these three not sure whether to go south, whether just send them to con con conquer these regions to effectively just start to clear out the Russian Empire. Um, that's to be decided. And we've also got well, yeah, this force has landed at Arcot and is currently laying siege to it. This army is um, providing support. Although, do I move them up to Hyderabad? Trips. I don't want my armies to be caught out too strung along um, so I'm probably going to want to keep them together for now while this army here at Ceylon um, recruits yeah they'll be done next turn then I'll probably land them up here at Kuttak send one westwards send one eastwards to hit Calcutta and then start recruiting some more garrison focused armies from from um, Ceylon so just more infantry infantry based and howitzers and not very much in way of field artillery Apart from that, I think everything's pretty much... I think I'm pretty much primed just to hit end turn and see what happens, I think. Ah, spend some some money upgrading some ports. I'm not going to bother about trying to optimise to make sure the best ones get upgraded first, because ultimately I'm getting... My income is sufficiently large that that sort of effort um, isn't necessarily worth doing. So let's hit end turn. Let's see what happens. Oh yes, my Swedish force is continuing to advance up the coastal road to start to threaten Finland. Yes, yeah, so you capture Stockholm. We're laying siege to Norway. So soon that will be the Swedes out of the game. And then those forces can head eastwards to start to threaten the Russian Empire. Fundamentally, I've taken Moscow, which is a huge chunk of their income. And I will also... I will also take Kiev eventually, um, which uh, those two are two of the largest cities. They've, they'll still have um, Königsberg and St. Petersburg still occupied, but I'm confident that I could dismantle those in due course. But we're going to be starting getting towards the, the not the end game, really, because you've still got a while. I mean, I've still got to fight India, to fight the Indian factions. Um, but as I spread out, I'm probably not going to totally win in Europe I'm probably going to totally win in India before I start to meet some of these victory conditions for example like I will advance a certain like I'll, if I'm in India I'll keep advancing and capture all of India but ultimately I'll capture a num the regions I need and then priority will start to turn towards probably knocking out the Spanish yes see thankfully that stack has taken um, more than a turn to get to um, my region. Um, it's not as much of a problem because I've now got the Crimean Peninsula. So I do have another access road to support Moscow. But, you know, I'd rather have more options, I suppose. And I suspect I will have many, many, many revolutions from Moscow but they will learn to like it. And the Russian Navy is coming out to play. 
Yep, gentleman fleeing the university because it suffers no purpose. So one army's falling back. Two, uh, you're falling back to St. Petersburg, which is perfect, or at least nearby. You're falling up that way too. We've got some marauding stacks, but I'll create some smaller forces to chase them down. Oh, I completely did not think about them doing that. <laughs> and we are being attacked by a Swedish force selling out from Norway. So let's get ready. Um, if I lose Crimea, I've got that army backing up Moscow. So my main effort will be to protect Moscow more than protecting Crimea. Then again, I didn't notice what garrison forces I got. Maybe I got a mortar, I don't know. Um, but yes, we're well established in, inside Russia. That's where the bulk of my effort will be. I'm not going to recall that army to go defend Crimea. It's going to stay roughly where it is. Um, if I can recruit... This is a really funky map. Look at this. Okay. So... Infantry can't... So if I deploy artillery up here, I'll, I will need to deploy some... Well, I absolutely am going to deploy artillery up here, because look at that. would not like to be manning that gun position. Then I'd have put an artillery unit down here to move up to this position. Because artillery can't... Can infantry run up here? No, they can't. Oh, no, wait, I can't. That's no indicator of anything. It would appear. You can stay where you are. So up on this hill, I'm probably going to want to put... Let's put three units to see what we can play with up here. Good. Then let's deploy some line to the side, this side and a bulk of my line out on the flank. This is going to be super ugly. My militia are going to be back here. My general is going to be here. And let's, let's just try to focus on setting up, I think. I think just to solve this problem, I'm going to go on the offensive. This is really funky because I can't. Like, it doesn't like so much about this deployment zone. I can't make. Okay, that makes sense to me. So maybe something like this. If you want to charge at me, Dragoons, I am more than happy to send everyone into square formation. Adam, I suppose. Well, these guys are going to come down and hit the flank. This is this is a funky map to play on. And 
to tear the Dragoons down from their saddles, because they are only Dragoons. Neither of these guys, I don't think. Yes, they are. Well, that's a lovely position <laughs> to fire down onto the Swedish. Because what's that? One artillery unit routed. Guard cavalry regiment is being routed. Come on. Lots of I don't mind the cavalry doing what it's doing. Um because it's not going to interfere massively with my men. But my general can hit them in the rear. And my general is in difficulty fighting a bunch of light horse behind its own lines. Yeah. Oh, I've turned your fire well off. That's probably why you're not shooting at me. Just make them engage for now. Get my artillery start hitting this concentrated block of Swedish infantry. So let's put my these infantry here fire off, ready to fix the gap, and let's send my marine, my militia on a bit of a bit of an explore. And let's go up onto this flank. They are starting to make their way up the hill Ooh, towards my artillery, no less. get these guys up here running. Let's bring these guys into the fight. You charge the regiment of horse, you charge that tribune unit. Move up and start firing at them. Let's get my general to run through the line. Let's get close to run. Ooh, that would have been a care that would have been a very carefully aimed shot. But it worked. chase down that unit of horse artillery, you chase down that unit of horse artillery, you run up here and start to square, scare their general. Fire will turn it back on. Run this artillery unit away. Let's 
move up. All of my... Okay, I'll send all these guys into the combat and I will eventually send them up here because my infantry are not going to last against two units of marines. Start to run my artillery away. goes into the back of this combat and just regular line infantry and they will be knackered. Let's get ready to gang up on these marines. General's been killed. There you go, target the routing unit. Marines in the cauldron. Excellent. So despite the really funky layout, I'll take that as a win. Since maybe Matt, we seem to have won um, soundly enough for it not to be a problem. Yeah, not a great exchange, but they've only got nine, seven men remaining. So I'll take it. Oh, good. The Mughals are falling back with one of their armies. They've split. They've brought a fresh one up, but they've split it up into pieces. So they're moving an armies to raid, and I did see that stack sail away. So I'm going to task one of my fleet to chase after it. And wait and see if, if I can actually capture it. So the Gen Genoans are up to something. There is a clamour for reform in this region due to the spreading of enlightened ideas. Only more there's not, they've broken all your stuff. So good building the happiness building to help help hold off. Okay, so this army is gonna stay here in case the Mughals come over to this theatre. Good. Can you not? Oh, one more turn. So close. But yes, at least it's given this region enough chance to resupply. So I'm probably going to do something like this. So this army will gradually build its own garrison, but eventually they will attack me, and I'm more than happy for them to do so. So let's take this fleet. No, don't go anywhere. I suspect they will have gone. Yep, they have. So continue sieging them. And also get Ceylon to recruit a unit of militia to hold this port. Is it Genoa that has Dagestan? <laughs> okay. Because yes, a an attack from the Mughals will come at some point in the Americas. So all my naval options. Do I actually do I actually not have a military dockyard in the region? Huh. Thought I did. Commercial base and commercial base and commercial base and commercial base. Hmm. I didn't realize I was just solely relying on my French bases. But let's get this partially completed navy, sell them to the Americas. Because I do have a navy over here, which, to be honest, I will pull back to Brest in case the uh, Marathas land on this coast. Grade Lisbon. You've been recruited. Okay. 
So then let's take this ship. Admiral's, Ad Admiral's first rate. Bit of an overkill to send for this job. I'd rather send a sloop and ship this army over to India. Upgrade, upgrade. Let's take this army and put them inside Paris. Coming for reforms going down. Oh, is it? Have I got some researching some fantastic new technology? Hmm. So Moscow's doing okay. So over here I'm going to build... You're quite happy with me, and that will slowly go down. So what I will probably do is build a... If possible, church school to start spreading my enlightened ideas. I can also get... Ooh, unfortunately they're not in. But they will be... They will be reinforcements, so maybe if I run, run them in, it should be fascinating. So works on strike in Moscow, no that's fine. City besieged, it's the Crimea. To be honest, I like my chances. Two units of cavalry, some colonial infantry, it's not bad. And then up here in Komi. If I move you out, you will not kick up a fuss because I am investing in your future. So say so this army actually head to here first because they are recruiting troops. So I'll knock them out and then knock out Ufa. It's me doing the trade route reading. Good stuff. So I think So they got like one garrison mortar, a regular mortar. I've got 12 pounder howitzers, they're not ideal. You don't have any howitzers, so I'm probably going to want to do some stuff like this so I can start to disperse more effective artillery through my garrisons. Let's hit end turn. Make them endure one more turn of sieging. Good. So that army's back up to Mo To be honest, I could have redirected that army from Moscow. And I could have captured Christiana. I might even do that. The army that's supporting Moscow, they will go and head towards Kiev. Moscow will begin to recruit its own garrison. Then the army that's in Moscow will probably head northwest. That sort of direction. To help bring down the Russians. Then probably I'll end up having to put some sort of um, watch against the Austrians. Because you never know when they'll turn. So what do the Russians do? So if they take Crimea, I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. So they will raid away, but I'm okay with them raiding. Ooh, hello. Lots of rebalancing towards the east, because even the Russians don't like it. Well, it's even the Russians. Absolutely the Russians do not like it when you attack their capital. And capture it, no less. <laughs> yep, Kiev's now completely open. No, apart from that army down there. Oh, poor old Austria. You're just getting knocked around. It could really be it would be really, really handy if the Austrians actually you know, for the want of a better word, stood up for themselves. But, you know, these things happen. Yet yeah, the gentlemen are fleeing because they have nowhere to to, uh, to study their filth. <sighs> See, they didn't make it even with another turn. or well, they didn't want to get within range, potentially. Oh no, there it is. Oh, look at that. How frustrating is that? 50 
damn 50. I'm absolutely going to fight it because even though I suspect it won't actually make you lose, I don't want to take that chance. Which is super lame. Particularly because it's going to be this weird layout as before, but my job will be effectively just charge my general while having my quickline mortars blow them to bits while my general moves up. But we shall see. So let's deploy you. So mortars are going to fire. Missed. They're going to plant stakes. So... Plant their stakes and immediately run away from them. <laughs> oh, I knew my I, I knew my general was going to overshoot and just run straight into them. Ah oh, well, the number of generals you have and I know them, like I, they they they're familiar to me from history. Um, unfortunately, these guys are not familiar, so it might seem silly for them to die in that sort of way, but I am completely happy with it. So where are the Gen Genoans going to go now? I hope they don't attack me. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not current. Okay, so let's upgrade the mine. Prêt à recevoir vos ordres? Prêt. Now, oh, yeah, Moscow's already recruiting its garrisons. So let's take this army. That is my army. Good. If I go there, I can knock out all of these guys in one swoop, I think, if I just do that. Dead. Dead. Fled. Fled. Meh. It's not that terrible. And let's take them and send them on with to Kiev. The besieging forces have fallen back, which is lovely, because it means that my... Um, I have a chance to recruit, although... Why you grade out? Is it a population problem? No, I don't think so. I don't get it. Newport in Georgia. Right, you're definitely getting a military port. Any raid in the mines, fine. The forests, that's also fine. Monsieur, vos ordres? This not so much. Prêt pour l'action. Monsieur. If we do that. Um I'll leave it and see if they attack it for one more turn. Same as the um, the Indians. Kurinu, General. Do we grip val? Plenish. Ah, as the Swedes have not been investing in Norway suitably. The fools. Good. So you're converting, or attempting to convert. So let's knock down this College of Divinity. Let's put, spend some serious cash on Sweden itself, on Stockholm. Good. And Sweden itself is converting. They will gain religious happiness. We have researched percussion shells, which is handy. Okay, so you stage out of, well, Georgia, I suppose. Heroic death, my general that died in a silly way. Norway has been secured. We have a rake in Portugal. Infiltrate Madrid. Traits gained, yeah. Catholic missionary in Egypt, which is lovely. So Cairo's okay, Jerusalem's okay. Damascus could do with some conversion. If, if, I think they've already got a school. Or if they don't, well, if they don't, that's fine. Ooh, religious rest seven. That'd be lovely if I can convert you then. So let's do a bit more of hard 
garrisoning in light of the Genoese. Because that's absolutely my territory. Let's do that. Okay, that region. Yep, Pony's good. City besieged. Archangels. Yep, city besieged. Katak. I want them to attack, but I'm okay to let them have one turn of sieging, because what usually happens, or what can happen, is the AI will. The AI will um, siege you for a bit, and then it'll attack you. Let's bring them into the mix. Let's go back up here to Europe. Bring my mercenaries out. Bring my general in. Put my sloop to go to none of these. Just go to India. Let's put them back into La Havre. La Havre. Spend some money on Ireland, steam engine factory, water power cloth mill, and let's upgrade your docks to a global trading company. Good. Could recruit quite a cool army in Copenhagen, but it's just not needed, not yet. But yes, you have a couple of well, the Swedes are dug in. So let's begin to provoke them. Let's see if we can lure any Swedish forces to battle in the open field before before we end up assaulting across the across the Baltic. Which might be difficult, so we might actually be landing like up here and then walking down. <laughs> Solid garrison, load of garrison guards. Let's recruit some. Not those. Let's get two four inch mortar batteries and let's get a unit of. No, I need something longer range. Two 24s. So these guys can fly quick climb at close in targets. These can do a bit of counter battery. That's what I would like. Then let's get some just regular line. That's very much what I would like. Ooh. Right upon And potentially recruit another army in Moscow to you start using some of these cool Russian units. Or do I bring them east to hit Petrovskaya? cut off the Russian threat from the west. No, I think I'll leave them there. Radio, let's hit and turn and see what happens. So here come my priests. Need to ride down actually, you'd remember that. Um, Archangel, to be aware, to remind myself that I am under siege, so I can't forget. Otherwise I'll lose them. Which would be super frustrating. And one thing to keep an eye on is where those Marathas have gone. Because you never know. Hopefully the Ottomans recapture Ankara. Because I don't like the, uh, the um, Genoese having such a large city near my frontier. Um... They will give me Armenia. Do I want it? No. I don't want it. Although, should. Well, I don't. No, I don't want it because I want them to do well. You know what? I might actually just start sending them money to keep funding. Keep funding their attacks on the Genoese. 
because the Genoese have got a a you know their eyes are looking at the the eyes are looking at a um, the, the Turkish region and I'd very much like them to stay there and what I particularly like is all these Russian forces leaving the border yeah take it <laughs> I'm not I wasn't going to plonk a garrison there just to, yeah no not happening so lost Crimea temporarily we will be taking it back see where this goes first because they've lost Moscow they've got no money well not that they've got no money they've not got as much money <laughs> Garrison that Russian town has abandoned ship if they don't attack then I'll I'll do a sally or I'll run my in, a, in Archangel I'll run my infantry round to their flank and then I'll sally out I'll effectively have my guys garrison the walls just to shoot their cannons and then my infantry will come in and sweep them from the battlefield oh even better they're just going to attack me let's do it but ah but looking at the timer however I think it's that's the end of this part so Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time for the defence of Archangelsk.